Welcome to another episode of Getting to Know. For this episode, we are joined by women's lacrosse player Gabriella Cesaro. Gabby, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So talk to us a little bit about what life's been like the past couple months. What are you up to? What have you been doing? It's been super weird. Like, I mean, once they told us that our season was canceled, like, I kind of almost had to like sit back and I was like, what just happened? Like it all happened so quick, but um, I've really just been doing a bunch of home like workouts. I've been running, keeping my stick in my hand, just staying active, really just trying to keep busy each day. Gabby, going into the season this year, your defensive unit was pretty experienced with you, Caitlin, Shannon and Molly. Uh, in the back and then the front was a little bit of newcomer so you had a gel but I feel like that last game you guys really came together on defense only giving up 10 goals and looked like the season was really progressing well how did you see the season moving from the first game until the season was postponed I think each practice and each game that went by like we got like we came together more as a unit and each practice like I I know like the very last practice we had was probably our best practice like everyone just clicked. It was like great. Campy let us play music at practice and like everyone was just like having like a great practice. It was really good. So I think like each like game and practice we just bonded and clicked like more and more as the season progressed. So how do you use that going forward with the ending that you guys did get? You're lucky enough that you're not losing. You're losing Molly which is a big big yeah. loss on defense but you're still gaining you have Shannon, you have Amanda, you're keeping Enora, you're keeping that senior core, but you're also moving forward. What are your goals for next season after all of this? Um, I think really, obviously with our season ending, everyone's gonna use this as like motivation. I hope everyone is just like practicing and staying in shape. And like, I really like my goals for next season are to come in like super like strong from the very beginning, like first practice, like all just like clicking and just, it like showed that like everyone like worked during quarantine and everything. So you have two years experience playing with the Malloy women's lacrosse team. And last year you won the coaches award. Campy gave that to you. How would you describe your two years going into this year? And what did it mean to win that award? And how did you take it going into this year? Um, my experience at Malloy has been amazing. I think our team is so close. The coaches are like great. They always push us each practice. I mean, winning the coaches award was like a great feeling and I just show up to practice like every practice no matter if it's early or like an afternoon practice like just ready to go and just give it my all and like I hope after like when once we all start coming back into season I hope everyone just like comes and is ready to bring like like the energy 100%. What do you feel like you've learned during all of this? Um definitely just like not to take anything for granted, definitely that, because you never know when your last practice or last game is like gonna happen. So I think like definitely like don't take anything for granted, do everything like 100%. Even just like if you're just going to practice and you're kind of tired or like if you're going to like an early class, like don't take anything for granted because especially like quarantine taught me that anything could be your like last class or last practice, last game. I always like asking this when I talk to either a coach or a member of the women's lacrosse team. You guys do so well on the field and in the classroom, but you also have a big emphasis on that community service, whether it be shootout for soldiers, uh, the lead the way game, or just either a walk or just wearing a color for a specific cause. How important do you think it is as a women's lacrosse player to give back to the community? I think it's super important. I think community service is huge. And it's not like, like after like doing like shootout or something like it's fun. Like our whole team is so close and we bond. So like doing community service, everyone's like, like excited to do. Like, I think it's great. Coach Campy loves community service. He always like signs us up for a bunch of things or like, even if it's just wearing like a color, like for something like, I think that's great. I love community service. I'm so for it. How do you juggle all of that? Being a student athlete, you have such a commitment to athletic excellence, juggling your expectations for yourself in the classroom and then that added community service which is such an important part of your team culture I think just developing like a schedule like okay like I know I have to do this and I know I have this test and I know I have this like assignment due 
So really just like having like a schedule and like definitely like getting like work done as soon as possible, like, and just studying, like really staying on top of that. But like being on a team, like we have each other to help or like if we needed someone to like help us study or like to like go to the library with, like it's definitely like, it's good being on a team because we have like that support system. Now we're going to mix it up just a little bit. We're going to do what we call rapid fire. So whatever your first phrase or word comes to your mind on the question, there's no wrong, wrong answer. It's just a little fun. Do you have a pregame superstition or routine? Um, I like to listen to music before games just like gets me like hype. That's the perfect answer. Cause now I'm going to ask you what the song is. What's your go-to pump up song for that? Hmm. Probably kill the lights. That song gets me like really like excited before games. Do you have a favorite opponent or plates to play? Um, probably Roberts. I think like we get like super excited before their games and like, we're always like neck and neck. So I love playing them. Yeah, so a long bus ride in there too. Yes. So I feel that the women's lacrosse team is perfected doing this. So I'm going to ask if you have to like get put on the spot to do an impression of campy, what would you do? Definitely. Like if practice is going slow and like, he's just like not having it, like you always be like, end line now. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. But honestly, during quarantine, I learned that I missed that probably the most. Do you have a favorite place to eat on campus, whether it be the AR or the Quick Bites in Public Square? Um, like, I like going to the AR, but I don't, I'm, I commute from home, so I don't really go there that much. Uh, what other sports did you play in high school? I played soccer, and I loved it. My team in high school was so close. It was so much fun. So if you could play any other sport at Malloy, would it be soccer? Yes, definitely. So talk to us a little bit about what you've been watching. Everybody's like clamoring to their streaming services. What, what are we, what's on your Netflix queue? I finally finished Dexter, which was amazing. I love that. Definitely recommend it to anyone who hasn't seen it. I watched Dead to Me, which was pretty funny. And I also watched Shameless, which was funny. You mentioned you're doing the workouts. Is there anything else you've been doing during this time in your free time? Um... I coach a travel team with Caitlin Meyer and Coach Campy and Molly also, like also coach like another team for recon it's called and it's like um travel cross for younger like kids playing lacrosse. How has that worked with the quarantine? So we had a bunch of zoom workouts like just showing them like what to do like to keep their stick in their hand and like some wall ball routines and like ground balls and so on and um like as time went on, like the last two weeks, we were able to have half team practices. And this Monday, well, yesterday, we were able to have um, a full team practice. It was the first one, but it's like a little difficult because they're young and it's hard to try to keep them distant because they're finally back out of quarantine and they see all their friends and like, like you have to keep their water bottles distant and just like drills where they aren't going to be on top of each other. So it's like a little difficult, but it's fun to get back into like a little bit of lacrosse and just like seeing like the younger girls play. And it like makes me excited for coming back to Malloy with everyone. Absolutely. How was that transition from going to your college season to coaching younger kids? Um, definitely made me miss everything with like our season. Like obviously our season got cut like, super fast first we heard like the ivy league seasons were getting shortened and then their season was finally like just cut off and then like more and more teams were like their seasons were ending and then can't be called and said that um our season was only shortened and then with a little time like our season was done and it was like disappointing i was super upset like I miss practice I miss the team I miss just like being out there but I also obviously stand by the NCAA's decision to protect like the players and the coaches so it's a hard situation but we've been making it work in the beginning we did like a lot of zoom workouts it was twice a week and like we had like all the workouts we would do in front of us and we do it like a couple times each and it was just like fun it was like the most normal we could make out of the situation because 
like we'd either be in class or practice. So it was like, those Zooms were fun. It was nice to get everyone together. How is that to coach with one of your teammates? You said you coach with Caitlin. Do you think that helps your kind of your connection on the field and what you guys are able to do? Definitely. Me and Kate also grew up playing sports like since we were super young together because she's from the town over. She's from Seaford and I'm from Lanta. So we like have like baby pictures of us like playing soccer together and like we just always laugh about that. But definitely coaching off the field and like different like like younger girls like it's like it definitely makes us bond more when we're on the field together. Yeah, I want to thank you for taking the time. We appreciate it. And thank you and uh, be well during this time. Thank you for having me. Thanks. Thanks.